Billy wasn't quite to be tonight, mate. What did you make of the game? Um, pretty simple, to be honest. I, I, um, my coach at the Melbourne Storm always used to say to me, you get what you deserve in this game. And that was very true tonight and very true this year in this series. I, I, I felt New South Wales deserved the game tonight. They played... They played better than us in a lot of areas. Um, we were we weren't on on our game um, in a lot of areas, and and they deserve the victory tonight. But I still feel that this team deserves the series. Um, you know the effort and the football that they've played over the the collective three games. Uh, I feel Queensland deserve the series. So we got what we deserve tonight, and we've got what we deserve this series. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a tough feeling. Um, you're not too sure what to do out there on the field after the after the game. So it, it is a, a strange feeling. But like I said, it's it's hard to look at it as a collective at the moment. But I think in time we'll we'll certainly look at it as a series, not a not a disappointing game three. They put you under more pressure tonight, Billy, didn't they? They they were a lot more determined. In, especially in defence and they that rush, you, rush yeah. you guys a bit. And yeah, yeah, it looked like like we were suffocated there for a lot of the game. Um, you know, with their line speed, um, with their time on the ground, and um, we just weren't quite willing to earn what we earned in the first two games. Um, and we put a lot of pressure on ourselves also. So, um, you know, that that compiles against you. Just feeling that the teams are so close, they're so evenly matched that you know in, you get in a situation like this where New South Wales are more, I suppose, more desperate to stop a, th a you know a three nil series loss, and that just makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, they're very close. New South Wales is best, and Queensland's best. Now, there's there's not much between the teams, um, so you know, we've seen that over the years. What is there? Eight clean sweeps. You know, I was a part of a pretty successful era of, of Queensland state of origin and we did it once. Like the, the games are really close and they come down to moments and New South Wales owned more moments tonight. Billy Stewart, um, Ruben Cotter, Wally Lewis medalist out there. What have you made of this series? <laughs> yeah, incredible, isn't it? Um, he only played one game last year, game one, and he got the man of the match and, and now he's played four state of origin games for Queensland and he's he's got a Wally Lewis medal um, to put in his cabinet and he's a he's an incredible player um, I and and the team value what he brings to our footy team um, you know if every team had a Reuben Cotter they'd be in a much better position Is he getting better with each game? Yeah yeah, I, he's, he just he just brings Ruben Cotter he, every time, and um, his game is so valued in a game of rugby league. He, he's a warrior. Billy, what was the thought process with uh, David Fafita tonight? He seemed to spend quite a fair time on the bench. Yeah, we we just felt that he was he was looking a little bit fatigued out there. We're doing a lot of defence, and um, we just felt that was the right move to to put Ruben on that edge. He he moves really well, Ruben, defensively, and. Um, and and give Dave a spell. You think he'd spend that long on the on the bench having a spell? Yeah, when you got eight interchanges, it's really hard. And in hindsight, it's it's really hard to um, look back and go, well, we, we'd love him out there more. But you, you yeah. can only have eight interchanges, and we spent that last ten minutes knowing that we didn't have an interchange up our sleeve. So, you know, we had to roll the dice. Yeah. What do you hope this team learns from that experience tonight? As as you said. That great team only did it once out of three attempts, I think. What do you hope they learn? You've got to earn your footy every time you take the field. Were you surprised about Bradman Best tonight? In what way? In just the way he, he played tonight. He's, a lot of people doubted him into the Origin Arena when he was selected. No, I don't, I don't get surprised. You know, I, I know the strengths of players. And as an opposition coach, I focus on the strengths of players and... and and the players that are actually in the team. A lot of people focus on who's not in the team and maybe their weaknesses. So I understand what Cody Walker brings to the footy team. I understand what Kalama Tungy, Bradman Best, um, Regan Campbell-Gillard. You know, we try and try and focus on the important stuff. And 
and we just couldn't we just couldn't get our game on and, and that actually helped them play to their strengths. Is missing out on a clean sweep enough motivation for you to stick around as coach, mm. Billy? Oh, I'll just we'll we'll enjoy this series win. Um, and then you know, that'll that'll sort itself out in the future. Can't we'll leave these guys, out. can you, Billy? Sure. Sorry? You can't leave these guys, can you? No, we'll see. We'll see. That that'll that'll happen. I'll I'll sit down with uh, I've got to sit down with my family. I've got to you know, I I I've really enjoyed the last two years. It's been great. Um, you know, Queensland means a lot to me. This team means a lot to me, and um, it's it's been a journey. It's been an enjoyable journey. I you know, I saw it as important. That's why I'm sitting here, and um, that hasn't changed. But you know, I've got to make sure that I'm doing the right thing for for everyone. How proud are you to have gone back to back as a coach? Um, I'm I'm proud of the group. I'm proud of the fact that the whole staff, the whole group has has contributed to enjoyment from Queenslanders. Like we we're, we're here. This is Queensland's team. This is not my team. This is not anyone's team. But over five million Queenslanders, and that's. That's where I get the enjoyment, you know, having people come up to me and are excited and are proud of their footy team. Um, you know, I grew up as a little boy idolising this team and idolising the men in this team. And then I became a, one of those men. And now I get to help other men be that inspiration for our people. Um, you know, that's what makes me so proud. That's what makes me the most proud of the position that I hold here. Thanks, Bill.